Hello baby cakes and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a simple eye look. Won't you join me? Okay, so first we're going to take our spoolie and we're going to brush out our eyebrows. Next, I'm going in with my BH Cosmetic Studio Pro Brow Pomade in the color Brunette. Now first, I'm just outlining my brow and then I'm filling it in with a small brush. On the inner part of your brow, you want to make upward strokes. Small upward strokes. Now always remember, your Q-tip is your best friend, especially if you're not a professional makeup artist. I always make sure I keep a box of Q-tips on hand to clean up my little mistakes when I'm doing my makeup. I'm going in with my e.l.f. brow kit and I'm just going to use the powder to go over my eyebrows to set them. That's in the color medium. Next, I'm going to use my e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer in the color Nude and I'm just going to use that as a base for my eyeshadow. And I'm going to use a big fluffy brush to brush that in. Next, I'm using my BH Studio Pro Matte Finish Press Powder, and that's in the shade number 235. And I'm going to use that with the same big fluffy brush just to set my concealer. Now I'm going to take my BH Flawless Brow Highlighter and highlight and shape my brows.
Now I'm just going to take the same big fluffy brush and blend in that highlighter. Cassidy says hi. Okay, so now we have here the e.l.f. shadow primer in the color pearl. Just going to use my finger to blend that in to my eyelids. And today we'll be using the Martin Matte color from the Martin Matte 28 color eyeshadow palette. As my transition color, I'm using the light pink color shown. I'm using just a fluffy blending brush. I'm blending and blending to make sure it's blended in well. Next, I'm going in with a slightly darker pink. I'm using the same fluffy blending brush. Make sure you blend that in well. What you want to do is create layers when you're putting on your eyeshadow and then blend the layers in together well. Next I'm taking the clean blending brush and just making sure it's blended in thoroughly. Next, I'm going in with this pretty pinkish tan color and I'm just going to apply that to my lower lids with a flat fluffy brush. I'm just patting that on. Now this is just a simple eyeshadow look. Um, I'll be in the future doing more elaborate looks so make sure you stay tuned and make sure you subscribe so that you can see those elaborate looks now I'm taking a fluffy brush and I'm going in with some white just on my inner lid eyelid I just want to brighten up my eye with this white color. Now I'm going to go back to the fluffy blending brush I used for my transition color and I'm going to blend in with the eyeshadow that's left on the brush. 
patting in some more of the pinkish tan color on my lower lid and using the clean blending brush to blend. Next, I'm going in with my BH Cosmetic Liquid Eyeliner in black. Now I'm going to leave um, all the information about all the products I'm using down below in the description box. If you find this video informative and like it, please give it a thumbs up. So I'm just applying the liquid eyeliner in a thin line. Try to make the line as smooth and even as you can, hopefully more even than I was able to. Here comes my trusty friend, the Q-tip. Now I'm just going to use my beautiful fan from Cuba to dry my eyeliner. Okay, next I'm going to take my Maybelline Moldering eyeliner in black and line my waterline just lightly. This eyeliner is very pigmented, so you just have to have a very light hand when applying it to your waterline. Next, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Voluminous Color Mascara in the color black.
now I'm going to brighten up my inner eye with my elf eyeliner and shadow stick and I'm going to use the side called shadow glow this is the finished look and I thank you so much for joining me today and look forward to my makeup with me Monday next Monday and don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the little bell so you can get notifications for my new videos. Thanks again and thumbs it up. See you next time.